So here we are, Documented Bits, <coughs> episode 10, I believe. You're on the big fucking double digits episode. I'm right, you know me, big boy. <laughs> So, how are we? Not too bad, very tired. Um, I'm working my dick off. So nice. Yeah, got funneled a load of hours, which I'm not angry about. I'm happy, <laughs> but it's going to be a long weekend and week. But, Mountainy. I should uh, say that uh, I'm Jack and I'm here with my Josh. wonderful friend, Josh. <laughs> And we are P-casting. It's probably the weirdest intro ever, but hey, we'll go with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a new sound on the soundboard, if you want to hear. I do. I know Josh hates it, so I want to hear it. Well, I've actually got four new sounds on the soundboard. Okay. All see. ambient music. Oh. <laughs> ambient Boy, think that's royalty free. Oh yeah, they're all royalty free, boys. <laughs> of course. And uh, if we want to get into a bit of a philosophical conversation, oh, fuck, okay. we can stick on this music. Space. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Willies. The music is going off now. Josh Thomas. SK. That was great. And if we want to get into a more dynamic conversation, dynamic. we'll go with this. Oh. Oh. I've heard this somewhere. <laughs> You probably are. <laughs> a dynamic, I guess you could say. If we, want, we could use this if we wanted some dynamic banter. <laughs> and of course, the the, the finale, the the grand finale of uh, the new signs. <laughs> oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake! <laughs> That's copywritten, <laughs> is it? Is that copywritten? Well, if we uh, comment <laughs> on it, or if we uh, do some critical analysis, then it's okay. Okay. So I just want to say, that is the uh, theme song of Monsters, Inc. And for me, it has a very child's play... Child's play. Uh, child's life. ...tone about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that'll do for the critical analysis. Yeah, just whenever you're putting the tags down, <laughs> down... Musical analysis. Exactly, and, and because uh, you mentioned dynamic banter as well, we can put dynamic banter in the tides and get some of that viewership oh. flow. Well, let's, let's hope so. You know me, <clears throat> bringing in the views. <laughs> <laughs> so, right off the bat, have you got anything that you want to talk about Well, on this platform? We do need to talk about camping. Mm-hmm. We went camping there over the weekend. Uh, we had a time. We had a, a great time. It was a very windy time. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you could probably tell. Still sunburned. Yeah. But my skin is healed. Mm, your so forehead's I, ground. That's when I was just your nose. Yeah. See, whenever I got home from work last night, I had like my skin was peeling all over my nose, and I was mm. like, right, fuck this, and just start like <laughs> grinding it all off, and then it left like raw skin which was really fucking sore so my nose is actually redder than it was yesterday nice. so my dumb ass thought I could fix it and then you know of course I didn't um, <laughs> classic me but yeah we got fucking bipolar as fuck well yeah. like, more than like when I say bipolar I'm talking like 10 times 10 times your average white girl sort of <laughs> mood swings you know it's like fuck it was like it was cloudy, 
rainy, windy, and sunny at the same time. Yeah. And then at times it was just like two or one, mm. or it was rainy and sunny, or it was you know. We'd re- like in the morning we'd start off. It would be, it would start off cloudy and windy. Then we'd go to sunny and windy. Yeah. Then back to cloudy and windy. Then a wee bit of rain. Mm-hmm. And then cloudy and windy. Then sunny and windy. And then sunny, rainy and windy. Yeah. And then at night it was just fucking cold. <laughs> like it was like. The weather forecast was like 19 degrees, it was saying, or some mm. shit like that. And I, I'm telling you, every day it was not 19 degrees at all. It was like fucking 10 degrees every day. I would say lower than that, honestly. But I still managed to get burnt, of course, because <laughs> I'm white as fuck. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got burnt in the rain, which was class. Uh, it's a special skill. It is a special skill. Um... I just don't think I'm built for warm weather, because Salou sort of <clears throat> yeah. showed everyone that too, whenever I fell asleep on the sunbed, uh, and came back as like fucking Mr. Crabs. Fell asleep on the sunbed and would not wake up. <laughs> we were yeah. pushing this boy, hitting this boy, poking this boy, and he wouldn't wake up until... Joel twisted my nipple, yeah. and I still didn't wake up. <laughs> Can't even remember how we got you to wake up either. You started... Well, Sophie told me that you started talking about going to Tobacconist. <laughs> and then I... And then Joel went, are you coming? And I went, what? <laughs> so, I think that's how... Like, no matter how many times he's, like, punched me and shit, <laughs> I didn't wake up. And then... But to be fair, we'd been away for 48 hours. So yeah. like, I'm surprised that I even woke up again. Um, yeah, that was a bit of a spicy meatball for me and you. Yeah. Both had been up for 48 hours. Yeah. Like twenty four hours in until uh, um, yeah in anticipation obviously because our flight was early as fuck in the morning and we arrived early as fuck yeah so we just thought there was no point in going to sleep for a few hours and then getting up and then being tired for the rest of the day yeah we decided fuck it we'll just not sleep and be tired for the rest of the day and then we'll at least get a good night's sleep that night. Uh, but we ended up staying up <laughs> quite late. Yeah. Uh, but to we were tired as fuck. To be fair, though, we had to, like, in order to get to Salou, like, we had to fucking get a taxi to Belfast yeah. and then get a bus from Belfast to the airport, and the, which was, like, a fucking hour bus journey or some shit. Yeah. And then we had to go through all that shit and then get on the plane and all, but... Yeah, we went camping. <laughs> uh, it was a it was a good time. We found out something new uh, that you can buy a fire pit. Mm. We never knew this the last. You have to read unlocked. Yeah, we're gonna fucking buy that shit again because the last time before this time we went camping, we fucking froze our dick <laughs> off for like three days or yeah. some shit. And I mean, I came back with the flu or some shit, but like. This time we got a fire pit and we just like started stealing people's <laughs> shit and burning it. And like, I, I kept throwing f- plastic and shit into the yeah, fires. Any, any of my, it sounds really bad and I'm probably <clears> going to get a lot of hate for this, but I was just picking up loads, <laughs> of, loads of plastic and shit. Because like, we had so much rubbish and the run to the bin was getting a wee bit tedious because we didn't have enough bags yeah. for the rubbish. So I was like, I know what I'm going to do. Burn the rubbish. <laughs> and... It, Woo! It, <laughs> It fucked everyone's lungs up, <laughs> but uh, it was worth it because our campsite was pretty clean. Mm. We I'm out a good time. We did have a great time, actually. It was a fantastic time, I must say. I mean, the fire pit in itself was a source of entertainment, mm. so... Oh, 100%. I mean... So you could say it's 100% worth it. Yeah. A lot of cans were drank. Poor young Joel got very drunk on the first night. Um, but, I mean... It's a nice area, mm. but I just don't have the what is it, the effort or willpower to mm. go hike up the fucking Moor Mountains. Yeah. I know how them three did it. Yeah, and spent so long up there. They were there, they were away for like two and a half hours mm. while we were like it drinking. It would have been colder up there as well because you're yeah. higher up. I just wouldn't have been fucked doing that because you think about how sweaty you'd be. Like I would, like you would just come back drenched in sweat, and I'd be like, yeah. "Why the fuck would you bother? Like you're already greasy as fuck, so don't bother. Just mm. fucking sit down, shut up, <laughs> eat a s'more, have a burger, drink a, a can, drink a can, have a fig, have a wee 
Go. <sighs> Drink <laughs> and enjoy yourself, you know. But that was prophetic as shit. Thanks, <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> do you have anything you want to talk about? Uh, I do have something oh. that I want to talk about, and I don't know whether you'll know of its existence. One or two, remember it. Do you remember Jones Soda? I do. It looked like WKD. Yep. It was a fucking soda, but it was in a glass bottle, Mm -hmm. and it tasted fucking pain. Mm -hmm. But the weird thing, the only places I could find it were um, Vivo, around the corner, Mm -hmm. and Apple Green, on the fucking motorway, Mm -hmm. going to like Dublin and shit. But... Like, even though those are the two places that uh, did it, for me, anyway, I have not seen them in, like, fucking ten years. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck they went. Yeah, a lot of a lot of shit like that happened. Like, I couldn't think of an example right now, but mm. I just remember, like, seeing a load of shit that I seen when I was a kid, but it's only in certain shops now. Yeah. Like, like I remember getting Jones uh, soda, or whatever the fuck it's called, mm. uh, whenever I was younger, like, Every day yeah. after school. And oh, for me, it was before going to the bus, fucking hop around mm-hmm. the Vivo, yeah, get a bottle right. of Jones. You used to be able to buy it around about as well. Did you? Mm-hmm. Because I used to get it before school and bring it mm. into school and sell them. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> um, but uh, I was doing more reading into the Jones sort of company, and it's a fucking shambles. class company. Oh, right. It was class, like. Even the bottles, like, it would, the company would promote, like, freelance or, like, amateur photographers. Because, oh, yeah, like, every bottle photos. would have yeah. a bottle, or every bottle would have a photo. Every photo and would have a bottle. Every photo would have every a bottle. Every bottle would have a bottle. <laughs> every photo would have a bottle photo. Of that's a bottle. A, yeah, that's a photo inside a bottle of a bottle. That's a photo. Which also has a photo yeah. inside that bottle. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. With a freelance <laughs> photographer in it. Yeah. Yeah. Taking a photo of the photo inside the bottle of, the of another bottle with a photo and a freelance photographer inside that bottle. Holding a bottle with a photo in it. Drinking a Jones soda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please sponsor. Please sponsor. That's actually a short Jones soda if you want. <laughs> um. Um. um Jones Soda, if you want to sponsor the podcast, we are Documented Bits, but you already know that if you're watching the podcast. Uh, we're assigned a couple of buys, uh, just looking for a bit of money. Uh, please Actually, help no, us. we're not looking for money. Well, no. We're looking for Jones Soda. Um, you can pay us in Jones Soda if you are, you can give us money, either or, so we can buy Jones Soda. Jones, where are you? No, let's, oh, kick this, <coughs> let's kick this. Let's kick this up a notch. Ooh. Jones, give your damn sponsorship. Oh, shit. We need it. I need some of that Jones soda. So please hit us up. Cause uh, I haven't tasted that sweet, sweet. Hold on. Stop. Hammer time. <laughs> yeah. No. Was there any more colours than red and blue? There was green. Green. I thought there was green. And there was also... Was there a yellow one? Yeah, yellow. Yeah. It was cream soda. Cream. Yeah, fuck cream soda, man. I don't know. It's stinky as fuck. I don't know who drinks that. It's <laughs> fucking... I don't know. It's the same as sparkling water. Who the fuck drinks sparkling water? Yeah. It's Do you like... know who drinks sparkling water? Americans. Yes. The Isle Yanks. Anytime I'm in fucking work, <laughs> they'll be like... They'll bring in a big, like, 24 crate of water, and everyone's like, fucking right, like, at last, we've got some water, right? And we'll all rush over to the water, because they've brought it in free. Alright, folks, welcome back. We had some technical difficulties. Uh, As you can see now, this is not Josh. It's not. This is Joshua. Hi. (laughs) I was about to say you've been fooled, but Um, yes, I am Josh. Could say that. Um, yeah. So we're talking about Jones sort of. We're talking. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. 
John Soda. Please sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. John Soda. Uh huh. Jones. Uh, sort of. Cream? No. Mm, blue. No. No, no cream soda. Blue flavor is my favorite flavor. As I was saying, though, sparkling water. Mm. Bullshit. Oh, we were actually talking about sparkling water. Yeah, yeah sparkling water. Please don't sponsor us. <laughs> um, the Americans always bring it in and work. And you're like rushing over and you're so happy that somebody's finally brought water and you get to it and it's a green bottle. No. Oh. It's like the green label bottle of River Rock. That's a or bad sign. Shit. And then you're like. Why? Yeah, that's what you're like. You're just like, yeah. You're like, why the fuck? Who drinks this? It's like mm. fucking. It's I don't even know. It's shit. I mean, water. the best way I could describe it was uh, whenever I got my first microphone. Uh, it was all fucked up inside, and I was all fucked up about it. Inside. <laughs> inside. Yeah. Uh, wake me up inside. Yeah. And uh, it would make this really weird noise. I'm going to see if I have a video to back this up. Uh... I just realized you have a packet of lemon sweets that are open to sitting on top here. Yo, lemon sherbet, boys. Sure, I don't mind. I was just making an observation. I'll get you a wee lemon sherbet. I like lemon shit, so. Here you go, sir. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it would make a really weird screechy sound. That's what sparkling water tastes like. It is. Not right there. That's what sparkling water tastes like. ASMR. Um, yeah, so I don't really know where I was going with that microphone thing, so. You just um, mentioned the microphone and being sad inside. Yeah. And I, think, <laughs> um, I think we touched on so something there. <laughs> what I really want to talk about is I'm sad inside. Okay. Uh, I'm not the person wake me be, up inside. I'm not the person you should be talking to. Wake then. me up. Save me. Save you from the nothing you've become. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> where do we go from here? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah. I'd like to give a quick shout out Ooh. to Shannon for a single launch. Who? You don't know Shannon? No. Who's yeah. the Shannon you speak of? Shannon Weatherup. I've heard the name now that you mention it. Well, she's really just mixed coffee with lemon and it's quite nice. How many more coffee? <laughs> she's releasing a single called 5am on Sunday. Um, you should all check it out. Um, yeah. Give her some love. Support. I play bass on it, so you're gonna fucking love it. Um. Well, you better fucking love it anyway. She has a fucking thing of it on Instagram, doesn't she? I'll play a wee bit now. There's a wee bit of it. A wee sneak peek. Oh. So if you are a Belfast boy, get your ass down in the Q's bar on Sunday at what time? Half eight. Half eight. I think. And uh, support our oh, mm, support our girl, mm-hmm. Shannon. Mm-hmm. <coughs> True that. <laughs> uh, there was actually something else I wanted to bring oh. out, and it goes off the back of the Yanks. Oh. I had a Yank. Um, Make fun of my artwork on Instagram. Because <laughs> uh, I posted something on Instagram three years ago that I completely forgot about. And I only commented now. It was a drawing oh, no. that I did in study. And I drew a fucking emo by. I'll get off the photo now. This is the very one. I don't know why I posted it or where it came from, but I did. <laughs> Uh, I got a notification uh, how many days ago? That's fucking funny. Um, where is it? Oh my god, have the comments disappeared? Must have deleted his comments. Oh no, no. Four days ago, I got a comment Wait, on what this. what year was this posted in? Uh, 2016. 
still are talking three years ago. Yeah, 21st of April, 2016. So somebody commented four days ago on mm, a post you made Saying, years. what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> laughing fucking body, <laughs> laughing emoji. And then I replied with, <coughs> who the fuck are you? Ooh. Uh, oh. And then he said, who are you drawing an emo guy? Oh. <laughs> and I said... La, this is a post from three years ago. Why are you even here? Oh. And then he said, I mean, the sauce of this next comment doesn't mean I can't comment. And then, boy, this got me riled. Oh. I said, if you can't think of one thing better to do than comment on some random guy's oh. Instagram post from three years ago, then, then trying to justify... <laughs> Then trying to justify uh, your comment on something that doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> that I genuinely pity your life and hope. <laughs> Brackets, I mean this from the bottom of my heart that you find something to do soon. Damn. I got this music playing because this boy's a fucking clown. Oh. Um, he said, You got me, man. I think I'm gonna go cry in my room and draw people because it makes me feel good. But you know, unlike you, I'm not gonna draw draw them like a disabled kid. <laughs> now I said, class. Maybe you'll grow up while you're at it. Ooh. And then uh, he went, class? Question mark. I don't think I'm the one not making any sense in their responses. Um. And then I said, I don't know how that didn't make sense. Class is something people in Ireland say all the time. So maybe you should spend more time becoming a bit more cultured. Ooh. And then he goes, dude, I'm not Irish and I don't think I need to be more cultured in something that has no image on me for what I am. Don't know what that means. And then he goes, and dude, why are you getting so mad at me for just commenting on your post? Like, do you do this to everyone? And I went, typical yank. Ooh. Ignorance is bliss. Ooh. And then I just went, to be honest, I'm taking the piss. I 100% couldn't give a fuck about a drawing, or couldn't give a fuck about what you think about a drawing I did in school like three years ago. And then he goes, haha, that was actually funny. And that's the end of my uh, Jesus struggles Christ, with the man. yank. What the hell? Why, why, why was I not informed of this? <laughs> that could have been your backup. Because I was saving it for the podcast. Damn, I would have been your backup, <laughs> man. I would have fucking... I love the spicy meatball. What the heck? Intruder. <laughs> I'd have backed you up. Have Alexa, just... intruder alert. I would have just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's me, isn't it? Yeah. I'd have just memed on his ass. <laughs> you know, I'd have whipped a nene on his fucking forehead. Can you give me some off the bat responses? Uh, you had? How about I read out one of his replies and okay. then you okay. tell me what you would respond with that. Um, it. Actually, let's go with the first one. What the heck is that? Laughing smiley face emoji. Um, I'd be like, let me see a photo. <laughs> <laughs> this will also be up on the screen for the viewers uh, I'd be like that looks like your fucking mum you <laughs> Alabama motherfucker <laughs> baby fucker and, you're, and then she's sleeping <laughs> uh, let's see what else um, you got me man I think I'm gonna go cry in my room and draw people because it makes me feel good but you know unlike you I'm not gonna draw him like a disabled kid no that one was pretty good yeah. I, I have to go to yeah. <laughs> that one was fucking funny uh I just feel like it would be I'd just be like go do that then you know <laughs> like you are the disabled kid sitting in the room drawing people because mm. your dad smokes in the shower because <laughs> he's a dirty bastard <laughs> I mean, this fucking kid as well. Like, why the fuck does. is he commenting on Where's something I did? Where's he from? Um, he's from somewhere in America. Alabama, like. probably. Um, probably fucks his sister. Probably fucks his sister. And I bet you his dad does fucking smoke in the shower. <laughs> Mall of America. Where's that? Mall of America. I mean, that's a kid, though. With his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that's him with his girlfriend. 
Damn, you got maimed on by a kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking child, man. <coughs> oh, actually, oh, Minnesota. That's where it's from. Mini soda. Mini soda. Mini Jones soda. Mini Jones. Mini cream soda. <laughs> yeah, I'd have just whipped a nanny on his ass. I'd have just punched him. I know he's in Minnesota, <laughs> but I'd just punched him. I'd have reported. You'll do a uh, fucking... What do you call that? An e-punch? Yeah, e-punch. I'd have just reported his account. <laughs> That's the biggest e-punch you can do. Yeah, the biggest e-punch is getting their account banned. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> that is a child, though. I don't know. What the hell? What the fuck? We're getting some... Sp- yeah. Getting some spooky noises today. I'm quite afraid at the moment. <laughs> oh my God. Do you know what I fucking hate on Facebook? All these people with their uni. Yeah. Like, just before on Facebook, it never came up. Yeah. You remember the days on Facebook where if somebody added a life event, it just didn't show yeah. up. If you didn't give a fuck about something, you were allowed yeah, to not give a yeah. fuck about something. Like, if, if they changed their life thing, they'd be like, oh, like, put a post, like, so happy I got into uni. Yeah. Cool. Do that. But I don't care that you changed where you're educated mm-hmm. yeah to what like and I mean I'm talking like 15 in a row sort of yeah. thing scrolling down your phone you're trying to find well, something well fucking results day my whole news feed was yep. just uni posts yep and then people like and there, let me break it through you kids uni isn't all it's cracked up to be nightlife hey that's good but the lectures are fucking shite yeah I didn't plan to go to uni i don't want to go to uni mm. i don't need to go to uni i don't need debt that's actually something i would say to people if you don't need to go to uni don't go to yeah, uni yeah don't do it especially for arts courses arts courses are fucking bollocks in uni yeah. i mean i learned more about shakespeare this year than i have about film mm-hmm. in my film co- oh, what does that say that camera's gone off Oh, pooey. All oh, right. Okay, we're recording again. Part three of the podcast. We don't usually have a part three, but we've had technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. We should be all okay now. But as you Because that one's formatted. That one's formatted. <laughs> and this has had no problems. Oh, darn. Unless it's on mute again. But it's not. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's not. I really hope it's not. So, yeah, I was talking about how arts courses in uni are bollocks. Because uh, yeah. they don't teach you Jack about shit. the actual art. They teach you all the shit around it. Mm-hmm. So, as I was saying, I've... Like, last year, I learned fuck all about <laughs> how to make a film or anything in the industry of film. But what I did learn is fuck load about Shakespeare. A fuck load about, like, the Romans, ancient Romans. Yeah. And uh, what else did I learn? Got to know about them Romans if you want to make a movie. True, yeah. yeah. Um, Especially if you're making a film about Romans. No, I feel like you could do your own research prior to making no, no, a film. No, 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 You must go uh, to uni if you want your Romans research and your Shakespearean knowledge. True, actually, I was in the middle of writing a film about Romans, but now I realise all that I've got it all wrong. Yeah, you got it all wrong. Because I didn't wrong. listen in uni. Yeah. Strangely, the Romans didn't come from France, and that's what you thought the whole time. Shit. Oh, Sam French I, people Sam come I've from fucked France. It. I've fucked it. Romans come from Rome. Romania. Romania, or something. <coughs> I don't even know. Russia. <laughs> Let's just say. But yeah, I don't want to go to uni. Don't need to go to uni. I'm happy not going to uni. I'm mm-hmm. happy not being in debt. Thousands mm-hmm. of pounds to go to fucking school and learn. <laughs> like, imagine... It's such a flawed system. I know. Being th- hey, you want to be smart? You need to pay a lot of money. Yeah. Thousands. I'm talking tens of thousands mm. in debt for getting Especially a... Especially what uni is. If you want to make a good step to helping the economy, mm, you're going to have to pay for it. Yeah. 
Yep. If you want to help our economy, you're going to have to pay for want, it. If you want one more quali- or <clears throat> one or two more qualifications to say you're qualified for a job, but you need experience <laughs> to get the job, r- mm-hmm. regardless of the qualifications, you got to put yourself in uh, crippling financial yeah, debt to do so. That's actually part of the reason why uh, arts courses are bollocks. Because if, say, in your case, for music... If you want to go to a record label, they won't give a fuck what qualifications yeah, you have. They give a fuck if you're good. Yeah. Same with film. If you want to fucking direct a film, you go to a production company. They don't yeah. give a fuck if you've got a HND and fucking film from uni. They want to know how fucking good you are at making films yep. and are you going to make them money. Yep. I think That's we need all some, they fucking care about. We just need some music for the serious topic. <clears throat> uh, where my son? There's my signboard. Uh, let's see. Get some appropriate music. I think it's something a bit lighthearted. <laughs> yep, not a bit. Um, it's because but- uni is full of clowns as well. Ooh. But uh, honestly, I do think like uni is a waste of time because sure you get your qualification and it's good for like law. If you're doing law, yeah. And stuff like that where you need to know shit so you can save people's lives <clears throat> or a doctor or yeah. shit like that. That's cool, but for somebody who wants to be a mm. musician or be an artist or be a you know director or cameraman or whatever, <clears throat> you don't fucking need it. Yeah, you just need to have a portfolio of work showing that you can do it. Exactly. It's the only reason I'm still in uni <coughs> is a uh, because of the equipment. John Soto. <laughs> <coughs> Mm, that was a nice tasty <coughs> burp after ooh, a nice Jones soda. Yeah. Uh, Jones I don't soda. <laughs> My mug is filled with Jones soda. Me too. Jones soda, the caffeinated beverage. <clears throat> the name of this episode is Jones soda. The name of Jack's cat is Jones soda. <laughs> the name of Jack's next short film is Jones soda. So Jones soda, if you're listening, please sponsor. <laughs> Uh, name of my firstborn child will be Jones Soda. Jones Soda. Not Soda Jones. Jones jo- Cream Soda. My favourite blues artist is Soda Jones. Yep. Yep. Sponsored by Jones Soda. Sponsored by Soda Jones, Jones Soda. Not the cream soda. No. Nope. The red or the blue one. Yeah. green one was okay. What, what, about, what flavour was the green one? Was it not like watermelon? No. Nope. Let's do a bit of research. There could have been other flavours we're about to find. Because we need to have some fidelity on this podcast. Jones soda. soda flavors. Let's go. Also, can I just say, <laughs> Sterling cigarettes, please also sponsor <laughs> us. We do promote smoking. <laughs> oh fuck! There's probably loads of flavors. Like purple. yeah, there's there a purple one. There's a whole. Oh, fu- there's a lot of flavors. Is there a rainbow one? Um, let's see. Okay, so the green one was green apple. Oh, that's right, I'm dipshit. Blue one was blue bubblegum. I thought it would have been raspberry. I thought that as well, but apparently it's bubblegum. Red one was uh, strawberry. There was an orange one. Orange and cream. Ooh, mm, that would be nice, actually. And then there's just straight up cream soda. Yuck. Then there's cola. Cola? Which Jones Cola? It, Jones Cola, please sponsor it. I don't think that one would have sold, because you got Coca-Cola. Yeah, I uh, also feel like that... Mm, I'm... I also feel like Jones Cola would have tasted like melted ice lollies. Yeah. I have a feeling. Not that it's a bad thing. I love those ice lollies, but yeah. I just have a feeling it would taste like that. Uh, there's Fufu Berry flavor. I'm sorry? Fufu Berry. What did you just call my mum? <laughs> Fu- what? A Fufu Berry. Oh, sorry. Jones Soda? Okay, sorry. Yeah. You were talking about my, mo- my mother there. I, I called your mum Jones Soda. Jones Soda Fufu Berry? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You're like, you the mysteriously on. charming pink flavour of Fufu Berry has long a source of intrigue. That doesn't make any sense. Everyone seems to know Fufu. Mm, that's not true. Never even heard of that. And while it's a, at every happening party, oh, that's also not true. Fufu's my favourite. It rarely makes plans. Shit. Some sort of just, just like go me. with the flow, you know? Oh. Fufu Berry loves mornings before anyone else is awake. Collects mm. knickknacks and listens to a lot of thousands Born? pump. 
a thousand um, thousands okay. pop punk. Okay. That's not us at all. I don't think I enjoy um, Fufu That Berry. description of Fufu Berry, Fufu Berry didn't make any damn sense. Fufu Berry is my favourite car bear. Mine too. Yeah. Good old Fufu. Fifi, forget me not, my guys. And the flower tots. I've uh, discovered where the confusion might have been for the blue one. There's also a blue one called Berry Lemonade. Ooh. Which I think might have been... Ones. Yeah, I think that might have been the one that we had. Jones Soda, you need to up your colour range. Uh, There's bound to be a grape on it, it's purple. Yeah, there is. is oh, there? That's a very weird... It's a very dark purple. Very dark purple. It's crushed melon <clears throat> as well. Ooh. And the description of this is... Oh, fuck, here we go. Plant emoji, sun emoji, something else emoji, hammer emoji, sparkle emoji, and starry eye emoji. Is that it? Yep. It must be good. If they, if they're maybe this one down with the kids, this is the one that really sold with children. Do you want to hear the uh, description for the grip sort of? Take the G. The sort of formerly known as motherfucking grip. Is that what it says? It says MF grip. Oh, I added okay. in the motherfucking. Oh, okay. This pop packs a lot of purple into one bottle. I'll be some tongue twister. This pop packs. A- this pop packs a lot of purple into one bottle. This pop packs a lot of purple into one bottle. This pop packs a lot of purple into one bottle. You nailed it. You nailed it. Uh, then there's also strawberry and lime, which is a red one. And there's That's, yeah, strawberry and lime. zilch black cherry. Is it what color is that? Black? Um, do you ever get Dark whenever red. you're severely hydrated? Or dehydrated even? And your piss comes out like brown? Brown? No It's way. that sort of color. It's like a yellowy brown. Yeah. Uh, and then they've just got zilch cola. Zilch? What the hell is a zilch? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's German for zero. Oh. Zilch. Okay. <clears throat> it doesn't make any reference to So it must zilch. be like zero sugar or some shit. It must be. And then they've got pineapple cream. Ooh, that sounds uh, probably yellow, isn't it? Pineapple cream started his career in a little R&B group called The Refrescos. But quickly broke out as the standalone star after a few summers road tripping is this, um, is across. This Michael Jackson's <laughs> life story. Michael Jackson, also known as Pineapple Cream. Michael Jackson, also known as Jones Soda. Oh fuck! After a few summers road tripping across America's Southwest and a brief relationship with T Swift, Theodore Swift. Theodore Swift. <laughs> Thomas Swift. Uh, Pineapple Cream is now focusing on photography and currently spending most of its time in Canada. Who the fuck is Pineapple Cream? I want to know who this person is. Let's look it up. Who the fuck is Pineapple Cream? (coughs) Who the fuck is Pineapple Cream? Oh, we've got an urban dictionary entry called Dirty Pineapple. Let's hear it. This will just be what it is then. Oh, a martini made of pineapple juice, vodka, and piss, and olive brine created by some random Mexican chef. A vagina with incredibly coarse pubic hair. A fruit that is sometimes brackets wrongly combined with ham and eaten on pizza. Very true. Yeah. The sexual act in which a penis is inserted into the hole, into the hole in a pineapple slice. Before vaginal penetration, acting as a juicy clitoral stimulant and no, eliminating no. the need for flavored condoms, the fucky may choose to eat the pineapple afterwards. Hey, that's a spicy meatball. I'm gonna try that. So should I? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very close. To have enough money to finish my studio. Hey, I'm gonna be gonna be making some dollar this next week, this Ooh. month. Ooh. And hopefully, I can save up enough of my pennies in my piggy bank <laughs> and get myself a darn MacBook, a Ooh. decent one. Then I need to buy Ableton, which is another two hundred <laughs> pound, which is great. I could just crack it, but I, I'm not breaking the law. Um. 
and then I just need pedals and I'm buying a new guitar hey. as well which is like 600 pound so I got a lot of expenses and then to you pay. can make a theme song for documented bits and then I can make a theme song for documented bits <laughs> free of charge <laughs> so I'm gonna have another lemon boy Is there a lemon Jones soda? There's a lemon and lime. Oh! Which I think is just lemonade. I think. Fuck's sake, man. <laughs> Jones soda needs to sponsor this fucking. I miss it. Sorry, I. Oh, yeah, fuck. I was going to say something. This is what I was going to talk about earlier. Whenever I was saying there's other shit, like you don't see everywhere, like push pops and shit. Yeah. Push pops in the shop beside me are one, like, 150 mm. a lollipop that you push up yeah 150 they used to be like 30p do you ever remember them fucking lipstick ones mhm that's the ones I'm talking about the push Is pops it? the lipstick ones so you know the ones that came out like I'm talking about like it was in like a wee box like that and then you fold the two sides down oh no I'm not talking about that I think it's pretty much the same idea just yeah. different packaging but do you remember the push pops you can get three in one? Yeah. The raspberry, the strawberry, and the cola. Mm-hmm. Darn Putin. It was quite the ride. Quite the radio. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually something that's quite weird whenever you grow up. You sort of like grow out of sweets. Yeah. Like I barely eat sweets anymore. Like yeah. but I I was like a couple of years back, like going through that whole puberty mm. thing. Uh, I was really bad for eating shit. Like I was, I would eat like shit religiously. Like, yeah. Every day, I would I would buy like fucking two big bags of Doritos and like seven hundred sweets, and then like two like three two liter bottles yeah. of like Fanta Orange or some shit. And now oh, you need like, to gear up for going into school. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking about sitting at home as well. Oh, fuck, serious? Yeah, playing on my computer or whatever the fuck. I was just fucking eating, 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 mm. eating. Like, that's why my teeth are fucked <laughs> now. And I don't even eat sweets now. I don't like chocolate. Yeah. I, I never liked chocolate, but it was always, like, like fucking chewy sweets that always got me. Like, I like chewy sweets. They mm. have a... What type of chewy sweets? Like, wine uh, gums and shit, or...? Uh-uh. Wine gums are fucking <clears throat> boofing. See, wine gums and things like that were my thing back oh, in the day. really? Fucking love wine gums. Do you know what I hated about wine gums? And they, it actually made me feel ill. <clears throat> was how greasy they were. Yeah. They oh were yeah, no, so I, greasy. Like whenever I was in Liverpool, I hadn't had wine gums in fucking years. And I was in Tesco just buying a few bits and bobs. And there's wine gums sitting there. I was like, oh fuck it, I've been good. I'll get a packet of wine gums. I couldn't even get through like half a packet. And so I greasy, felt man. so sick. Yeah, they're so great. Because like, I remember... No, I know. I noticed this when I was young. <coughs> my mom, like, <coughs> used to live in like the Lisburn Road, mm. and my mom, like, went into the shop and got me and my little sister some sweets, and she came out with two packets of wine gums, and I opened mine and started eating it, and I looked down at the packet, and like, obviously I'd been touching the packet, but my fingers were like covered in just grease. Yeah, and it was like I looked at it, and I was like. I was like, that's fucking vile. Like, that's yeah. fucking going into me. You know what I mean? That's so dirty. I don't know. And then ever since then, I hated <clears> it. <throat> uh, what is another one I hate? Jelly babies. Oh, yeah. Jelly babies. Nah. What <clears> is that shit they put on them? Is that... Sh- is that... What the fuck is it? I don't know. But is it, it did, sugar? It tastes like flour. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Because I thought it was flour my entire life. Same. Because... I don't know what the fuck it is. It's mm. disgusting. Mm. Like, don't get me wrong. Whenever you get all that shit off a jelly baby, they're grand. I don't even know. This is, for me, they've always just said weird. But see, all a, je- all a jelly baby is, right? Because Haribo done it right. <laughs> they got your super mix. You know the oh, way you get the, the wee- super mix is fucking. You know tiny. the way you get the wee tiny people, the, mm. wee, the wee jelly people. Yep. That's what a jelly baby is without the fucking flaw yeah. shit on it, you know? And they're nice. So The super mix is easily the most superior yeah. of all the Harry Bows. Yeah. Or Time Fastix. Hmm. I think yeah. I go super mix at the top, Time Fastix. Normal. Then the normal, yeah. Normal ones are shit. Yeah. I don't know anyone that favorite favourites the normal ones. Hmm. They're just not getting anything out of them. Even just like the shapes between yeah. all three. Yeah. 
Like the super mix and time file six are more whimsical shapes. Do you know a fucking sweet that went out of <clears throat> existence and I've never seen it ever again since I was young. I, I remember the last time I seen it, I still lived in the apartment that we used to live in. Mm. Um, dream bars. Oh, I'm the white John and we're talking about yeah. this or we're camping. The white I don't know bars. what they are. Look it up. You'll know it if you see it. The white chocolate bar. Are they bar. similar to Star Wars? No. It's just a white chocolate bar. Because <clears throat> whenever you use, like, we're talking about it, I my mind immediately went to Star Wars. No, it's a dream bar. It's just a white chocolate bar, but, like, they were unbelievable. And they're not... They don't get sold anymore, but I remember getting them when I was young. Um, and they used to come in, like, the Heroes thing. Whenever you were on. You remember you used to get that, like, fucking... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember you I used know to get that, like, bucket of heroes thing? Like, the sweets? Well, apparently you can buy a Dream Bar for £5.9p. This is what I mean. They're not in existence. Somebody has them stored somewhere. £5 for a Dream Bar. Fucking mental. That's ridiculous. £5. No. For a chocolate bar. <clears throat> I don't know anyone who would pay that. Here's actually something. <clears throat> We're both fans of Mac DeMarco. We've talked about it on the yes, podcast yes, yes, before. Yes, yes, um, As we all know, Mac DeMarco was a, or was a Viceroy boy. He is. Was. Um, I was actually looking up prices of Viceroys to buy online. Right. And they're not actually that dear. Right. If you go to the right websites, they're not that dear. See, it's more the shipping. Because you can get them. like... Because Americans, they, like, do their units in, like, cartons. And I didn't know how many were in a carton. Right. But I think it's, like, our equivalent of a sleeve. And they were doing it for $50 on this website. But how much is shipping? See, that would probably be the kicker. Yeah. So I think I still have the... Uh, I... No, no, never mind. It was... Twenty seven pound. They're for, doing a carton for two hundred. Yeah, for a carton of viceroys. Well, I'm gonna have to invest in that shit. I'll uh, show you the website after. Mm-hmm. But I'm uh, happily paid twenty seven pounds for mm, two hundred figs. I mean, I don't know what the shipping prices are like. Yeah. Well, I mean, twenty seven pound. That's Still, that's a spicy meatball. That's like sixty here. <clears throat> Yeah. Twenty seven pound is like sixty fags here. I'd yeah. be getting two hundred. But like shipping on top of that, you know. Mm, shipping will probably be like fifty quid. Mm, maybe like I'd say about twenty thirty. Mm. Because it's just a pack of fags. Mm, true. But... <coughs> Martins. We actually need to book Mark DeMarco. We do. For November. Oh, that's not too far away. Uh-huh. What's that, like three months? Three months, yeah. We need to buy tickets and then me and Sophie will come over. Mm. So. <laughs> fun time. Fun time. It will be a fun time indeed. Yeah, we talked about this on the drinking podcast <clears throat> though, didn't we? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, so I, just want, I want to do a drunk podcast. We should. Why don't we? Like uh. a proper like steaming podcast oh yeah no I'm happy to do that I'm so happy to do that uh, the only to... issue would be finding when to do it and finding lifts for people just get taxis that oh, would depend on also having money at the time then we'll just do it after everyone gets paid <laughs> well Josh's kiss <laughs> Could be a while. Hey, he's trying. He's trying, yeah. <clears throat> God loves the trier, but uh, God's not real, so. God loves. Hmm, Josh make it that what you will. Yeah, he's in Dublin. Yeah. Why, how'd he get there? He has no fucking money. Why is he even there? I don't know. Because he hasn't told me why he's there. He hasn't told me. He, has, he never mentioned going ever. Yeah, I find out. He's a, he's a man of mystery. I find out that he's going to Dublin. On Monday, when I said, hey, do you want to do the podcast on Wednesday? And he goes, I'm very busy this week. and going to Dublin tomorrow. It's like, oh, all right then. Him and Mal must have went there. Mm. Or is Mal with him? I have no idea. Tell you what, that man's he's very acting very <laughs> suspicious. 
He's elusive. Loses it or quits his job. Disappears to Dublin without telling anyone. What the fuck's going on? Maybe he's a CIA agent. Mm. A private eye <clears throat> in the Guinness factory. Maybe he started this whole podcast thing to keep tabs on me. Probably. Yeah, he just wants Find to... Find out all my dirty secrets. Yeah, he wants to know all about you <laughs> and your wanking habits. Because <laughs> <laughs> we all know I, 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 but I'm a guest, I so. openly talk about my wanking habits. Yeah. Um, what you got to do is you got to get a pot noodle first. Mm-hmm. Uh, Soy you, sauce. You eat so, most of it. Soy sauce. Mm, curry. <laughs> Brazilian one's the best. Mm. Bad mile. I don't know. Easy. Mm, the World Cup that. one. The mm, World Cup one. Was don't like know about the that. The best one. Don't it know had, about like, that. To be fair, the sauce and it was shy. It had like a mango sauce. Mm. Boo. See, that's the thing. Savory things that are sweet, can't do them. Mm. If it's savoury, it needs to be savoury. Pineapple on pizza, for example. <laughs> Stinking. I don't know how anybody eats that shit. I mean, even a barbecue base on pizza, that's a no-go either. Yeah. I mean, Sophie, my girlfriend, eats... She's so stinking. She wants to get, like... she Or she gets barbecue base, right? Takes off... I think she takes off the bacon on her mm. pizza. She has said that before. Puts pineapple on and as the replacement. And is now, now talking about putting tuna on it as well. So, I want you to just picture that sort of pizza in your head. Sophie, you're a clown. Sophie, you've, you're a fucking clown, woman. Get your shit together. If you want this relationship to work, you're gonna stop eating pineapple on pizza on tuna. Um, but just imagine that. How fucking stinking that is. Like you got a combination of <clears throat> three things that are boofing. Three things that don't go together normally. Well, yeah, but yeah. then you put them on a pizza and just makes it a cardinal sin. It it's like an insult. Mm. To pizza, it's an insult to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, God knows they look. Well, to be fair, they put mayo on their pizza. Mm, that's true. stinking. That's both. Yeah, no, they can go down a hole. Fuck you, Splinter. So, what's your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza is the Full House. Ooh, why don't you tell the talk- audience what's on the pizza? Are we, are we talking about Domino's pizza or just pizza in general? Full House, but we're gonna go talk about Domino's. Domino's, please sponsor. Um. If you sponsor a podcast, that'd be a really big win for us because you know you're a big company and we're just a couple of bays. Yeah. So, oh shit. Um, <coughs> so on my pizza, I got chicken. Oh, all right, chicken breast strips. You know, you know how it is. We got bacon. Correct. We got mushrooms. Correct. We got peppers. Mm, depends what type. Green and red. Mm, just go for red. They all taste the same. Mm, that's not true. This is. No, that's not true. Well, suck my ass. <laughs> it's my pizza. <laughs> you got red onions. Okay. Correct. No. What else we got? Bacon. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What else we got? Herbs. Or some shit. Then we got okay. ground okay. beef. Ooh. We got... Cumberland sausage. Ooh. And then we got that mozzarella cheese on the top. mozzarella. Yeah. So. We're talking any pepperones? Oh, pepperoni too, yeah. Got that on there. Fuck it all on, yeah. <laughs> That's why it's called the full house. And you're only oh, paying yeah. the same amount as you're paying for everything else for getting everything on the fucking menu. So is that the conclusion of your dream pizza? Mm-hmm. We'll give that a clap. Uh, I know I work for Domino's as a representative. Uh, hey, Sam, sponsor the podcast. Uh, I'm going to sponsor the podcast as a, a Domino's representative. Well, um, I also want to bring up something to do with your damn sister. Oh, shit. Whilst we were camping, oh, she was telling me about uh, her radio appearance. Okay. Um, and then she was also talking about, hey, that's on Sunday at McHugh's Bar. Um, you hit 35 or and um, there's another guy playing called 
Uh, that one. Uh, he's called uh, Jones, sort of. Malachi sent uh, uh, Oblivion and uh, aka Jones Cream, sort of. Yes, sort of cream. <laughs> anyway, back to me telling off Shannon for the second time on the podcast. Um, she said, or my conditions for going to the gig was that she gives me a shout out on the radio. She didn't do it. Shit. So, no, I'm not coming to the gig. Oh, whoa. Uh, she tried to bribe me uh, with bubblegum sweets. I will show up, get the bubblegum sweets and leave. Uh, I will not clap. Uh, she also talked about this kind of drink, so suppose I'll get the bubblegum sweets, get a pint, is and it a leave. Pint of Jones soda? Uh, By any chance? Why, yes, Sam, it is. Oh, right, okay. Well, well that, just, that, you can't leave then. You got your sweets on a pint of yeah. Jones soda. You know what, Shannon? I'll uh, give you an ultimatum here. Take out all the alcohol of the bar. You fill every single optic, every single tab with Jones soda. I'll stay. You got yourself. And I'll deal. perhaps clap. Perhaps. Well, your lucky ass doesn't have to go to work before and after it. True. Yeah, I have to. I have a shift at <clears> eleven p.m. that night. Ooh. Yeah, so so anyway. does that mean no drinking for Sam, or better drinking? I'll have one or two, but I'll not be getting boofed. But I got work, you know. <clears throat> would you be getting one or two pints of Jones soda? Why, yes, I would. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Only the best soda that's ever come to light. <clears throat> where did it go? Where has it been? How much does it cost now? What flavors Jones, are Jones, where out are there? you? Who knows? Oh, wait. <clears throat> you can find out yourself by going to jonessoda.com forward slash documented bits <laughs> yes yeah probably the wrong way around <laughs> that's why but fuck it but fuck it <clears throat> uh, you can use our discount code it's um, Jane's Ladybugs okay slash documented ladybugs uh, slash bits slash uh, Jones slash Soda, uh, one, two, nine, four, uh, three, uh, 47, um, October, 1905. 1104. Yeah. Dot com. Uh, and that discount code runs out on the 47th of October, Ari, so. Yeah. In fact, you've got 11 seconds from what, from now, from when I'm talking. So you've, you've already missed out at this point because I'm not... Uh, yes, because we're in the past. Yeah. Help us, we're stuck in the past. Help, please. <laughs> Honey, I've... Something the kids. Honey, I've left the kids in the present. I'm stuck in the past. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, the kids aren't here. They're back there and I'm forward. Honey, get... <laughs> the kids to buy me a Jones soda (laughs) honey the kids are no longer with us they aren't dead they're just not in the present (laughs) (laughs) (coughs) Uh, uh, honey correction the the kids have died but they've died in the present so we're in the past and they're still here for me so um, where are you (laughs) Honey, please don't take the kids. Honey, the kids are in the present. I'm in the past. They're lost because they aren't in the past. And now they're not here. Let's have a nice future. I hope they're doing well. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Oh, fuck me, this is a weird podcast. It is, so dumb. I, think it's I love it when people ask me, what's the podcast about? I just don't know what to tell yeah. them. Yeah, see, I think it's because we're both fucking shattered. <laughs> we're literally just rambling yeah. about <laughs> anything. Like, I don't even know if half this is even funny. 
But oh, I don't it's, it's care. probably not. It's probably not funny. I don't care. We're just not very funny. I've just had a good time. I'm having fun. Um... Bang! Hit it, Joe! <coughs> <coughs> Fucking hell. That's taking a little bit too long to load. I'll just go to a different one. Testing that soundboard. Um. Thanks for waiting there. I'm glad you held on. That was a quick intermission. Um, if you've made it this far, fair play to you. Yeah. Um, I think we can wrap it up soon. Oh, I'll almost way really off. It probably is. No, 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 we're good. There's faux pas in the biz. Huh? Um, yeah, so we can probably wrap it up at about oh, now. Right. Okay. Um, do you want to give one final shout out to the Shannon's gig and single? Hey folks, uh, my sister Shannon. I think we back seat for this. Let you, let you go. She's releasing a single. And hey, guess who's on it? Yours truly. Me. Not Jack. Not Josh. I'm playing the bass on. How do you one clap in the background? Jack claps his ass in the background. One time. <laughs> Shout but out one time to my ass. <laughs> the single's called 5am. It's being released on all music platforms. So you got Apple Music. Fucking, you're going to get it. You got Spotify. It'll be there. You got iTunes. It's probably the same thing. It'll be there too. So, it'll be on YouTube too, I think. But, it's been debuted. Hey, why don't you tell us the name of the channel on YouTube? The name of the channel is... <laughs> Shannon Weather Music. Hey, let's go with that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, McHugh's in Belfast. 8.30. Singles called 5am. Be there, be square, be gay. I don't care. Uh, yeah, show some support, have a few pints, have a few laughs, piss your pants, I don't care, have fun, goodbye. Uh, also just want to say, if you're a Belfast boy, you're listening to this podcast, and you came to the gig because of the podcast, that probably won't happen. Make sure you give Josh a little finger in the bum. Yep. And make sure you make direct eye contact with me while you do it, and say... Hey, I listen to the podcast. Don't say it to Josh, say it to me. Yeah. Josh isn't here. Yeah. Josh is stuck in the <coughs> past. Good night. Fuck.